I had to give you Queen of the Night inspired look. We had to. You had to. <laughs> You look beautiful. How are you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wait, wait. This is not the time starting. No. This is just before the nails. Thank you. You look thank absolutely you. Thank fucking you. fantastic. I love you! Oh, I love you! I live for this! Yes. Oh, the first I'm a massive Whitney Houston fan and yes, I have to say I you did her justice thank you beautiful 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 thank you my congratulations lovely. thank you how did you prepare for this iconic role oh it took a while mm -hmm. it took a second first I had to get myself mentally prepared I think that was a big thing because I was scared mm -hmm. scared because it, I love her you love her I don't know anyone who doesn't and the thought of like making a wrong step or m representing her in a way that wasn't respectful was like top of my list. So it was first a mental thing, and then it was just getting into the nitty gritty. It was just the research, it was the rehearsals. Like my favorite bit was doing the movement stuff. Oh really? Yeah, that's my that's my jam. Like, yeah. And I, I would just like look over her live performances and like we had a dance studio, I was working with my movement coach and we would just go through each of the moves. And like, you know, I, I got to a place with especially the movement stuff where I could listen to any song and improvise a Whitney Houston performance without having to choreograph anything. And that's kind of- It was just in your body. It was just in, in it. Yeah. It was just in it, even when I was like freestyling, like I, it's gone now, it's, gone, it's, <laughs> been, it's so long ago, which is a shame because there was a moment where I was just in the pocket. You were in like, it. Mm, yeah. Well, you did a fabulous job. Do you remember the first time that you heard a Whitney Houston song? No. No? I don't remember. Okay. It's like, it's always, she's always just, been with me. Yeah. I can't remember. I think the first time, you know, it was it's not right but it's okay. Classic. When she when she came back around for me to remember, it was it's not right but it's okay. Yeah. And and then my love is your love came after, I believe. Yeah. That's when I remember it. And then obviously Prince of Egypt. Oh. When you believe. Her and Mariah. Ugh. Listen, I'm a stan of both of them. It was too much for my little heart. I, I do both roles when I yeah. listen to the song. Me too. Yeah, you too? In this time. <laughs> I'm not going to sing. Because I haven't had my hot water and lemon yet. <laughs> I love this, oh my gosh. So Whitney's relationship with her best friend Robin in this yeah. movie is front and center. Amen. It's such a beautiful thing to see. Yeah. And I think maybe the casual Whitney fan might not be aware of yeah. that relationship. Yeah. How important was that for you to show that relationship between two black women on the big screen? So important. Because yeah. as soon as I found out that that was a part of the story, and mm -hmm. I'm really, so I found out about that years before. I didn't know that it was kind of talked about as much as it was mm. in the press. And I didn't know that um, John Houston and, and, and Sissy Houston like were a part of kind of being like, keep that on a down low. Um, it feels like liberation to me. You know, it's a part of a story. And yeah. the love between Robin, Robin and, and Whitney was so pure and real and like dynamic. It's moved, it's shifted. They never put a, they never put a name on it. And I just love that. And I, like, that's a part of Whitney's story. Yeah. And it's so, it's so pure and like, um, it was formative. It was in her formative years. It set her up, it gave her the confidence. Like without, without Robin, I don't think Whitney could have even begun in the way that she did without Robin's yeah. support, mm -hmm. always there. That it just deserves to be told. Yeah. It just deserves to be told. So to be honest with you, like, if that wasn't in the script, I don't think I would have done the project because it feels like false, yeah, that's continuing no a false narrative yeah. that doesn't feel truthful. Exactly. And I feel like with your previous roles, yeah. you're not afraid to tackle um, a, a roster of diverse characters, yeah. particularly yeah. that depicts like love between black women. Yeah. Um, how important do you think that is for audiences to see themselves represented in everything. those roles, especially like it's marginalized everything. communities? Come on, it's everything. Yeah. Like, and I, I do, I will say like, even the first time I remember seeing Whitney was when I was a kid, right? And she played the fairy godmother in the Cinderella. Oh. And it was on VHS tape at home. My dad yeah. 
uh, taped on from Channel 5 and I would watch that through and through again. And yes. I didn't know at the time why I was watching it over and over again. I just was obsessed. Yeah. And I look back and I'm like, yep, yeah, Black Cinderella. I can see myself. I can see myself. Yeah. And Black Fairy Godmother. Yeah. Impossible. 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 Listen, you're lucky I haven't had a hot water lemon because I would be, we would be doing a little day. battle off right here. And for way I can remember for says. But like, but all of that and like that it matters and, and that's me as a young black girl and there's so much more stories to be told. If I can be a part of helping that representation, giving people more confidence to then yeah. step up and tell their own stories, you know, because some of these experiences aren't mine. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if I can be kind of the kind of in the same way that Whitney was that for us yeah. growing up if I can do that a little bit so someone can stand on my shoulders you know 10 years down the line and be like okay because they did it I'm I can now do it and take it a, a, step, a step further step and up. better than she did yeah. please by all means because that is that's our journey yeah. we're, we're not we're not there yet where we can sit back and just be like oh yeah it's all gonna work out mm -hmm. fine There's still some we work have to, do. to keep pushing there's still work to do but moves like this are gonna help advance us forward amen i hope so um you've also spoken about showcasing whitney's humanity and yes. i think that's a side that a lot of people didn't really get to see of her no. particularly the press yeah why do you think the press and the tabloids did her so dirty because they, ah, did, they really did, did her, her dirty, dirty. To the camera. you did her dirty you know period I know, there's an audience watching, no, you didn't do oh, not, that. Not day. you, not you. Not but you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think, um, yeah, I that part I don't understand. And I think it's still part of our culture today. Mm -hmm. There's a joy in anyone, but in particular women, like on the height, hmm. just going now, yeah. taking it down and dismantling and cannot wait for the moment where somebody makes a mistake exactly. or something wrong happens and it makes me so yeah. mad build them it up makes me so angry and bring, back down bring them back down and yeah. I, we see it today i mean there's that documentary that i will not mention yeah, we'll right, now, but right now yeah but, we, but like yeah and we cannot pretend that it's not real that effect that it has on mental health mm. is if we're in a time, especially in social media, where people are able to do it to each other, who aren't even necessarily public facing, and people are out here dying yeah. because of being bullied. Yeah. We're in a, a mad time, and that's been the culture for time, and I don't understand it, because all we just need is kindness. I mean, I know it sounds so twee, but it's just like, actually, it's logical. It's how people survive. It's communities coming together and supporting each other, so I don't understand why we're cruel to each other. Yeah, fix up. Be Fix kind, up, look folks. sharp. Look sharp, folks. Come on now, come on. <laughs> okay, so for my last question, yes. I know you said that Whitney's not quite in your body, but yeah. Whitney's known for her definitive interview style. Oh, so God, I just want to ask it. you one last question, yeah. but as Whitney. Okay, you ready? Oh my God. Okay, let's go. So, <clears throat> are you a tough cookie? Oh, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> always? Not always, no. Sometimes. That means sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I Thank can't believe you. I remembered that. It was still there. It was still there. That's Thank my, one so of my much. favorite ones. Listen, so iconic. I literally so went through all of her <laughs> interviews, like the all compilation on YouTube. Yeah. She she never played. She didn't play. She didn't play. She was sharp. Don't ask me a silly question. I said sometimes. Sometimes. That means some times. times. That means some times. <laughs> iconic. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are absolutely you. wonderful. You too. Congratulations. Thank you, my lovely. Smash it. To the stars. To the stars. Mm -hmm. Mama.